Hey guys, this is me, Robbie here. This is your boy Azu here. You guys are back with another reaction video. So guys, if you are new to our channel, then subscribe to our channel quickly. Please subscribe to our channel. Azu Robbie Gang, join us. Our vlogging channel is Bad Name Robbie and Azu Vlog. Link in the description. Please go and subscribe. So guys, today we are going to give you a video reaction. It is on food, street food. We are going to enjoy it. I am going to enjoy it. Eating five meals for dollar five, my cheapest street food. Mumbai का street food तो वैसे ही मस्त माहौल होता है, मजेदार होता है, देखते हैं और enjoy करते हैं. Food in Mumbai can be extremely affordable, but today we're testing out just how affordable it can be. With only five dollars in my food bank, I'm challenging myself to eat five different street foods. By the end of this video, we'll see if Mumbai is truly one of the most affordable food cities in the world, or if I go bankrupt. Let's find out, starting at our first location. Tucked away in India's largest jewelry market, we discover our own hidden treasure. This Gujarati masterpiece brings a burst of flavors at very low prices. For a plate packed with the perfect blend of split chickpeas and chilies, it'll only set you back 30 cents. To make sev pamani, start by pouring sunflower oil into a pan. Once it's sizzling hot, toss in green chilies, turning them from deadly weapons into delightful harmless sides. to the leftover oil. Add mustard seeds and everyone's favorite asafoetida powder. This seasoning, also known as devil's dung, has an aroma that's strong enough to scare away evil spirits. But fear not, it'll soon transform into a flavor resembling leeks or onions. Next, introduce the Kamani mixture, a magical blend of split chickpea flour and turmeric for that Instagram-worthy color. Follow that with a generous amount of salt and water and mix it well. small glass of lemon juice for that zesty kick, then serve with sev, chopped onions, coriander, and those fried chilies. Think of sev kamani as the love child of couscous and clouds, dancing with the satisfying crunch of sev, and the chili offers a spicy finish. Fingers crossed that our budget withstands the journey as we gear up for the next economical delight. With plenty of budget remaining, let's see if we can get through four more street foods. Our next spot, a charming street food cart, offering a diverse lineup of egg-centric eats. Today's headliner, the scorching egg chingari, a dish so fiery it not only sets taste buds ablaze, but it also manages to swipe a few extra coins from the pockets of locals, especially budget-conscious college students in the area. Not only will it set your mouth on fire, but it will give you the pleasure of incinerated taste buds for a low, low price. मेरा नाम सुब्रतो नायक मेरा शॉप का नाम है डिलीशियस एक कॉर्नर माय नेम इज सुब्रतो नायक माय शॉप्स नेम इज डिलीशियस एक कॉर्नर ऑन यूजुअल डेज आई सेल अराउंड 300 टू 350 एक्स एंड इन वीकेंड से गोस बिटवीन 400 टू 450 सिंगरी केम इनटू माय मेनू आफ्टर द लॉकडाउन आई गोट दिस आइडिया फ्रॉम सोरत देयर वाज अ डिश कॉल्ड गोटाला व्हिच वाज नॉट दैट स्पाइसी देन आई मेड इट मोर स्पाइसी टू सूट द टेस्ट ऑफ मुंबई एंड आई गोट द डिश सिंगरी Start by creating the base gravy. Sizzle up chopped onions, tomatoes, and spring onions. Season with salt, cumin powder, turmeric powder, chaat masala, garo masala, a good amount of butter, and mash everything together. Introduce the three boiled egg yolks and a spoonful of Szechuan sauce for that signature spice. After all, chingari translates to spark or flame. Dilute the concoction with a dash of water, garnish with fresh coriander, and set the savory gravy aside. Now melt some butter, mix in the chopped boiled egg whites, and sprinkle in salt and chili powder. Combine this dynamic duo with the gravy, crown it with more fresh coriander, and for the final touch, butter up the pan and toast up some pops. This dish is proof that you can cook up the most amazing flavors with simple, cheap ingredients. Feel the subtle burn from the spices, complemented by the kick of Szechuan sauce. Experience the comforting wave of boiled egg yolks and the chunky delight of egg whites, all served alongside perfectly toasted buttery pogs. And all this for $1.93. So far, we've already invested about $3 in this street food, but the feast is far from over. 
Now our next stop might incite a marital disagreement. That is, if you choose it for a budget-friendly anniversary dinner for you and your wife. And uh, don't ask me how I know that, but it does earn its spot as number three on our list because what this four-generation old bakery specializes in is still pretty dang delicious. My name is Devanam Chaudhary. The price of the hypothesis is rupees 60. We have customers from olden times and even new customers come in and even people who work over here come here. So to make it affordable for them, we have kept the prices low. Around 1000 to 1500 plates are sold over here. Start with a generous sizzle of butter on the hot tawa and dance in two potato patties, also known as alu tiki. Now wait for them to transform into golden hash browns. Once the edges achieve that perfect crispiness, transfer them to a plate and crown them with ragda, a traditional gravy, crafted from white peas and a blend of spices. Next, the red chutney, green chutney, and tamarind chutney. Add a few dashes of chopped masala and mix it all together. Now enter the yogurt cascade, adding a creamy touch. Finally, a dusting of jeera powder, a rain of chopped onions, and the grand finale, a generous downpour of sev, those delightful chickpea flour noodles, then crushed puris, the Indian biscuit, chopped fresh coriander, and carrots. Top it all off with roasted split chickpeas, also known as chana dal. For less than a dollar, Daki Patis delivers an explosive burst of textures and flavors in every bite. The zesty kick of tangy chutneys, the sweetened embrace of yogurt melding with the spiced alu patties, and of course, the delightful crunch of sev. In our fourth round, we've got a chef whose hands move faster than helicopter blades, crafting a mouth-watering street snack that's heavy on the stomach but light on the pocketbook. Coming in at only 50 cents, say hello to Helicopter Bell. Start by loading up with a pot of puffed rice, set crushed puri, spiced chana dal, and roasted brown nuts. Squeeze some lemon over the concoction and begin layering the ingredients. Mashed potatoes, chopped red onions, black salt, more crushed puris, more sev, and fresh coriander. Then a trio of chutneys to the stage. Barlick and chili chutney for a spicy kick, coriander and mint chutneys for freshness, and tamarind and date chutneys for some sweetness. Now watch as the chef's hands morph into helicopter propellers, swirling everything around in a tornado-like flight, all to ensure a perfect blend. and plate it up and crown it with additional crushed puris. Sev chopped coriander, onions, tomatoes, and a side of tamarind and date chutney. True to its name, Helicopter Bell is a flavor tornado, encompassing sweet, spicy, and minty notes, along with fresh fruit and hints of vegetable. The texture is just dynamic, offering various levels and styles of crunchiness in every single bite. $5 food bank is dwindling, but the meat cravings are kicking in. I've got my eyes set on a place that serves one of the most signature chicken delicacies in all of Mumbai. But the big question is, will our remaining cash be enough? Introducing Chicken Kima, a dish that once graced the royal tables of the Mughal era, now humbly mingling with the masses and earning its spot in the grand finale in our cheap street food challenge. Start by adding vegetable oil to a pan. Roast bay leaves, cinnamon, cloves, and fennel seeds. Toss in chopped onions and let them saute until the kitchen is filled with the aroma of deliciousness. Splash in a bit of water, ginger garlic paste, turmeric powder, garam masala, and chili powder. Then a touch more water to create the perfect dry gravy. Enter the minced chicken meat. Finish it off with a sprinkle of chopped coriander and a few lemon slices. The chicken is wearing its dry, spicy coat with pride, delivering a flavor explosion that feels like a rebellion in your mouth. No royal decree needed, just a knowing nod of approval from your taste buds.
So after a full day of eating Mumbai's cheapest street foods, did we manage to stay within our $5 budget? The answer is no. We set a goal, we got real, real close, and then we blew it. Now, in the battle of the bites, which dish gave us the most bang for our buck? Was it the potato midaki patis, the college student-friendly egg chingari, the pillowy sev kamani, the helicopter bell, or former pop star chick? <laughs> चावल भी होते हैं राइस फ्राइड राइस होते हैं बड़े मजे के होते हैं वेज मंचूरियन होता है तो ट्राई करना मस्ट है